What's up you guys? Welcome to Worship Leader Hangout. My name is Chad. Today I'm hanging out with a really good friend of mine, amazing guitarist, Drew Guthrie. This is him right here. What's up guys? <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, man. So uh, one thing I, I really like about Drew, well, really like about Drew's playing is his tone. That was one thing I noticed from the, the very first time I heard him play. Uh, I was like, man, that dude knows how to how to, how to create some good tone, how to, how to work his pedals and do some incredible work uh, with, with the stuff that he has. And um, so anyway, I want him to show us how he achieves the tone that he has, as well as how to achieve that atmospheric tone that we're all kind of looking for in a worship set. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm gonna let him take it away in just a second. Um, but yeah, this is Drew right here. Incredible guitarist, good friend friend of the channel we actually uh, cycle together now and uh, so yeah you may even see more of that on this channel you never know I got an idea by the way oh, okay so, cool yeah. deal. anyway so I'm gonna let him take it over uh, I've talked too much already all right my name is Drew today on worship leader hangout we're gonna be taking a look at my simple setup here that I use uh, and uh, maybe a couple tones that I that I use very often um, in uh, lots of different genres uh, lots of different um, settings and environments um, so if we take a quick look down, um, my board, I have a couple of overdrives that I can, you know, swap in and out. I have a compressor, uh, reverb pedal, and um, volume pedal, and I go into this new Line 6 HX Stomp, and I use this pedal for pretty much everything, um, like the amp settings, all my delays, my modulation, so anything I don't have on the board standalone, I just run in here and grab it uh, and use it. It's, it's a really good pedal. Uh, like a little Swiss Army knife almost. Um, I have an RV6 here, which is a very common pedal. I'm sure a lot of you guys already have it. Um, and that's the pedal I'm going to show you today, how to achieve a, uh, a really cool uh, atmospheric tone, something you can use for swells, um, kind of a chord bed if someone's talking and transitioning songs or praying or whatever. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. You just kind of use your ear and, you know, we'll just tweak the knobs and see what we can get. So uh, taking a look at my tones and what I use uh, pretty regularly. I use a spring reverb for most stuff. Uh, if I need to get the, the atmospheric tone, I can just switch over to that. Uh, for like some chord swells. And what I'm doing there, I just use a heavy reverb, um, a little bit of delay, and a compression with the sustain turned up pretty, pretty far just to kind of tie all those notes together and not let the beat be too much downtime in between each of those. Um, so what we're going to do today is just take a look at this um, boss reverb and kind of try to achieve that same tone that you can kind of get out of the big sky um, for a fraction of the cost. So our dry signal is just, just really, really straightforward. Um, we'll put on a little delay, and then uh, cut on the reverb here uh, with a spring reverb setting, just to kind of let you hear that. Um, everything's set at noon so far, and um, what we'll do is we'll just switch on to the modulate setting. This at the very back, I think it's the last, yeah, the last notch. So right out of the gate, you got a pretty cool tone right there that you can use for chords and, and swells and things like that. But what we'll do is we'll take the effect level, which is the saturated reverb sound. We just kind of crank that up to where we think we need it. Um, I'm looking at about two, three o'clock right there. And so now you can actually hear the, the reverb uh, a lot louder than the dry signal. So it's kind of like your mix um, between your dry and your wet tone. So we, we, you, know, you just kind of put that wherever you feel like it needs to be for what you're doing. The time. Kind of set at one o'clock right there. So 
the tone knob is just kind of depending on your ear, what the sound you're looking for is. If you want it to be more of a, um, a muffly pad, like maybe what's on a piano, you could go back um, to the left counterclockwise. And that's going to give it more of a, a warm pad-like tone. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put it clockwise at about four o'clock. That's going to give you that sparkly kind of resonator, um, chorusy sound. And as far as this tone goes, you can add whatever you want to it. I sometimes like to put a, a little bit of a chorus on there just to keep the sound moving. So that's a, that's a really obtainable reverb pedal that you can get a quick tone out of um, for worship guitar and pads and things like that. Not very hard to do. You just really need to take your time with it and just sit down and uh, play with all the different knobs. There's, you got your three knobs, which is your main like we said, the effects level, which is your mix, we want that up pretty high, and the time, we just want the, the reverb to trail as long as we feel like it needs to. Uh, you don't want it to be too short. If it's too short, it's going to sound a little bit weird. Kind of sound like it's in a box. But if we crank that up to about 1 o'clock, like I said, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, it just seems like about the perfect time to keep all those notes tied together. Uh, as far as delays go, I, I use a simple delay. Literally, that's what it's called, simple delay. Uh, set on a quarter note and the mix, around 25%. And the trails, not very many. All right, guys, so yeah, basically, that's how to achieve a really good pad, warm, uh, ambient tone uh, using a pedal that's, you know, just under 200 bucks versus a pedal that's around 499 bucks. You know, you're saving a good bit of money that you can put towards another pedal. Uh, the best piece of advice I could really give you is to just sit down with whatever pedal you have and really just tweak it. Just turn the knob, see what they do, see what sounds you're getting, and uh, let your ear be the deciding factor really in, in all of it. Don't really listen to anybody to what they're saying. You know, this has to be said like this, or this has to sound like this. Tweak it, turn it, you know, really dial it into what you like and what the sound you're going for is. Um, I'm just going to play a little bit of, of uh, what I have set up here on my board and let you guys hear that. Great worship leaders are always learning. <laughs>